Dogs are a source of delight and unconditional love for their owners, and so we really never want them to suffer in any way, any ailments or anything else. And so we have to be vigilant about recognizing the signs of when our dogs just aren't feeling right. When they develop osteoarthritis, relief from the pain can help restore mobility, allowing our dogs to return to many of the activities that you both previously enjoyed together. Here to tell us more about this subject is professional services veterinarian Beasley Lockhart and her dog, Jameson. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank, Thank you. you, Jameson, for sitting down, staying calm. We're going to get through this. We really want to know what canine osteoarthritis is. It's a chronic degenerative condition where the joint cartilage wears down and bone surfaces rub abnormally against each other, resulting in joint swelling, pain, and inflammation. And studies have shown that 20% of all dogs suffer from some condition of the disease. And so it could be abnormal stress on joints or even normal stress on abnormal joints, absolutely, right? Absolutely, absolutely. So you can have a normal joint that is abnormally stressed over years with obesity, maybe an injury, mm -hmm. or normal wear and tear. But you can also just start out with an abnormal joint because they're born with a problem. And normal stresses on an abnormal joint can also lead to osteoarthritis. And so how do you know, Beasley, what are the signs of joint pain? Well, chronic pain, like osteoarthritis, is difficult to recognize. Mm -hmm. it's very, it progresses very slowly. Mm -hmm. um, for Jameson, really what he does is he has, his, you know, he has a problem with his left wrist. He stands up abnormally, kind of stiff in the mornings, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. decrease activity, uh, trouble trouble laying back down at times. And he's nine years old, right? He is. He's mm -hmm. nine years old mm -hmm. and he's had osteoarthritis for about two and a half years now. Oh boy. And yeah. so what is the outlook for dogs who do end up developing canine osteoarthritis? In most cases, it's great. Uh, it depends on the osteoarthritis, if it's mm -hmm. going to progress slowly mm -hmm, or quickly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Either case, your veterinarian will be able to determine the best course of treatment and in combination with uh, the pet owner's love and committed care, just like Jameson, they can actually live a very happy, healthy, comfortable life for many years. Okay, so we've recognized the signs and we take our dog to the vet. What are some of the treatment options that are available out there? Well, there's no cure, unfortunately. There's no cure. Yeah, yeah, but it can be managed. Mm -hmm. the, the first step is to control the pain. He's either really liking that or... He does. He does. <laughs> but he controlling is. the pain is an, important, is an important aspect of it, right? Yes, it is. It's, it's important go, to control the pain. And then for most dogs, uh, you can implement other programs like weight loss, mm -hmm. controlled regular exercise, a good healthy diet, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but your veterinarian will be able to make the best treatment plan after the pain is under control. All right, so very quickly, let's talk about the NACIDs or the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, which really do form the mainstay of treatment. Absolutely. Okay. There are many to choose from. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. Most of them come in a tablet form. Makes it a little challenging to give the right dose for the dog's body right. weight. Medicam is a liquid inset or pain reliever that's also honey flavored. They, they like can, that. They love it. Uh -huh. It's easy to give. I mean, uh, Jameson, gosh, he takes it on a piece of toast oh, every boy, morning. Just like, just like a human. Yeah, he, he loves his honey, honey just and like toast. Just like my kids in the morning, Absolutely. they're honey and toast. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, but he does and so finally, where can people go to find out more information? Well, they should consult their veterinarian and uh, if they want more information, mm -hmm. they can visit www.thinkmedicam.com. All right. Well, thank you so much, Beasley. Thank you, Jameson. You actually did thank great. Thank you. You did good. We, we enjoyed it. it. Yes. Thank you so much you for being bet. with us this morning you on The bet. Balancing Act. <laughs> Up next, a natural solution to help relieve the symptoms associated with the discomforts of menopause.